All right, here we go. Because you see here now, just what's down next to this is, is that but the sun is, is, is going. You'll see the shadow around here now. This will slow the whole process down. But you, as you'll see is, is that the sun, what the, this is time for geothermal, but before I hand over geothermal, I'll just take a little swig of the Pacific Ocean. I've only had a going for a couple of hours. Ah, tastes just like water. Pure drinking water, not a problem. This one here, now will have more of a salt content. Oh, spit that one out. Don't drink that one. And that is definitely salty water. But you can see is now that it's slowed down the evaporation rate is that so this is a time for geothermal to step in is is that and if they were pushing through here hot water then you'd have the thing running all night. Little little demo but you know very uh, very interesting to see that you can make fresh water simply out of out of salt water. I've sailed all over that ocean and there's a bucket of it. All right, good on you. Let's do geo, shall we? We're just gonna switch here. Is it going? Yep, it's going. So there it is. Now, here's where implementation of geothermal makes a whole lot of sense. We're not talking geothermal direct. We don't wanna make electricity. We just wanna run a loop field or a heat sink. That way we can produce an unlimited amount of hot water with our geothermal heat sink. At night, this will continue running. Again, no power other than a little bit to uh, run the heat pumps. We can hook up solar and energy and thermal storage devices for that. Energy and thermal storage devices store excess electricity from the solar so that we can produce our loop field at night, circulatory, creating heat. Cool in the day if we want to cool. We can really manipulate the dew point. And Wally, you're going to have to give me the numbers and I'll repeat them because I doubt they can hear me. Actually, you give the numbers because they're barely able to hear me. Well, here at the pool now, it's around 80 degrees, so it's a 10 degree drop, and the relative humidity is down to about 50. But you can, if you heat up the water to approximately double, remember we pulled that water out of the Pacific, it's about 65. If you can give it the water, heat the same water up to 120, you're going to end up with double the production. Simple as that. The hotter the water is, the more you're going to make. So currently you have a hectare. How much of a hectare of land, just so you know, is 2.2 acres, correct? 2.2 acres. And that produces how much water, how many gallons? 328,000 gallons a day. 328,000 gallons a day. And That's if, with geothermal. If we do geothermal. No, that's with geothermal. That's with geo. Yeah. On two acres. Yep. Roughly. Yep. And without geo, it's half that. About half that, yeah. Yep. But with geo, we can run it all night, and we're producing salt, which is yeah. our only RO. Yep. There is no other RO. Yep. And we can take the salt, we can take that 10% that of the water that's left, is, and we can either evaporate it simply, is, is, or we can evaporate it by vacuum and make you, you know, it depends on the footprint. If you have plenty of land, then the simplest thing to do is to put an automated evaporation system in and scoop it up. Now here we go, just to get the numbers right again, 100 gallons of ocean water, and start from there, 100 gallons of ocean 100 water. 100 gallons of ocean water will get 90 gallons of distilled water for you, to begin with. That's it, 90 gallons, 90%. And how much salt? Um, I'm not too sure of that. Yet, you One know, is, is that, yeah, you're going to get a couple of pounds of, of salt out of every hundred gallons, but I'll give you the exact figures for that later. But no, no, no RO. Distilled salt. We so just straight, run the water on the, through again. straight on the table. There we go. And we just run whatever's left over with additional ocean water, and there it is. One more time. That's simple. That's the little unit. Agreed, it's a little demonstration unit. <laughs> it's only about one square foot. But you get the idea of it is, is that when you get it up into two meters by three meters panels is, is that it's quite large. And zero energy. And that concludes this video from GeoSource Foundation. And there it is, just so that you know there's no tricks, no anything hooked up to any kind of electrical outlet. And here we go.
You get the point.